30, Binghamton. He's in. Buckle up. Binghamton Black Bears hockey is on the air. Oh, big hit down low. And now we are going to get our first fight. Clubs are off. The sunrise. It's the end well rug pregame show. Save made. And well run. The best floor show in town. Here's another one. They score. Let's send you to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth for the End Well Rug pregame show. Here's the voice of the Black Bears, Rob Lapolis. Good evening and Good welcome evening, and live and inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in downtown Binghamton, New York, where tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday, the Binghamton Black Bears will, for the first time ever, host the Columbus River Dragons. I'm Rob Lapolis. You're listening to the Endwell Rug pregame show. Endwell Rug, the best floor show in town. Give them a call at 607-748-748. 7366. Well, the Columbus River Dragons sitting in second place to the FPHL. 47 games played, 27, 15, and 5 record, 86 points, and a 610 win percentage. It'll be tough for them to catch Watertown, but the Binghamton Black Bears sitting in fourth place after a big weekend down in Carolina. You'll hear from Black Bears head coach Rod Davidson about that in just a little bit. Binghamton right now in fourth place with a win percentage of 516. They're trying to catch Dan Barry. And why is that? Because the first two teams in the or in the league, I should say, they get a first round bye. That third place team gets to pick the opponent for round one. So Binghamton trying to catch Dan Barry. It's currently with a 603 win percentage. Binghamton at 516, and they're trying to stay above Carolina, who is at a 500 win percentage right now. Let's take you back to Sunday. The Black Bears were trying to finish out a three-game series in Carolina. It was one game apiece. Binghamton won on Friday. They fell on Saturday, and then they had a lead on Sunday. This would go to overtime. Here's highlights presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Cam Yarwood got things going to give Binghamton a 1-0 lead. Pikarski goes over to Cam Yarwood. Yarwood now to Kirkby over the blue line, offensive zone. Kirkby to the net. Yarwood scores! Kirkby led Yarwood to the front of the net. He had almost no room to work with. He got a stick on it, and it slides in the net. Exactly six minutes into the game, Binghamton has a 1-0 lead. Now Cam Yarwood gave Binghamton a 1-0 lead, and then Nikita Ivashkin made it 2 to nothing. Binghamton would then surrender two in a row. It was tied at two. Tyler Jurich, power play goal. Who stick on the ice, Emil Strom. Strom, Jurich. Shooting save, Jurich again, he scores! Tyler Jurich was denied the first time, picked up his own rebound, hammers it in, and the Black Bears convert on the power play and have a 3-2 lead with 13.01 to go in the second. Well, the Black Bears would get up to a 4-2 lead, but Carolina stick it around. Chase Davari made it 4-3. Cody Oaks tied the game to force overtime. And in overtime, Mo Levac, great move to the front of the net. He did all the work. Nikita Ivashkin was there to tap it in. Mo Levac comes on for him. Under two minutes to go in overtime. Levac has speed. Mo Levac in around the defense. Save. Scores! Nikita Ivashkin, overtime winner, 5-4, Black Bears. What a move by Molovac going to the net, and Ivashkin. Well, that was it. Overtime win on the road for the Black Bears, 5-4. The highlights presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Join the Booster Club. Just visit their table behind Section 4 at the next Black Bears home game. We will take our first time out here on the Endwell Rug pregame show. Stay with us, though. When we come back, you'll hear from Black Bears head coach Rod Davidson on your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton.
Mrs. Fogelman made it a hustle for that muscle. Membership numbers at Sly's Gym have been racking up. 22 people have signed up for 6 a.m. buns of steel. Now he needs more certified trainers to do all the heavy lifting. I'm going to have to bulk up my staff. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Our hiring platform instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. New team. New website. Check out the all-new Binghamton Black Bears website, BinghamtonBlackBears.com. See all of the Black Bears' upcoming promotions, the latest news on your Black Bears. Check out up-to-the-second standings and stats and save money with special offers. You can even listen to every broadcast and see what's been happening on their social media. Be sure to follow the Black Bears on social media as well. Stay up-to-date with everything Black Bears at www.BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Now back to more of the End Well Rug pregame show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back Welcome. inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. The Zambonis have wrapped things up and we're just about 10 minutes until we are set to go here on a Friday night. Again, the Black Bears home tonight. They are home tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Once again, here against Columbus but the day gets started at 3.30. It is the Hart Cup game, and that is between the Binghamton Police Department, Binghamton Fire Department. That is at 3.30 p.m. And for tickets, you can visit BinghamtonBlackBears.com special Hart Cup game link. And the Black Bears, for $15, you'll be able to go to the Hart Cup game and then hang out for the Black Bears game at 7. And then of that $15 ticket, the Black Bears will be donating $5 back to the American Heart Association. So you can get those right now, again, at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. And also, the Black Bears will be wearing special autism awareness jerseys during the game. You can place your bid for one of those right now, all for a great cause. The bidding is live, and all you have to do, head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com. And then Sunday is Wise Market Day, and that is $8 tickets for those of you who have a Wise Shoppers Club card. So just bring that to the Black Bears office on the third floor of the arena, and you can score $8 tickets to Sunday's game. That is a 3 p.m. puck drop, three home games in three days for the Binghamton Black Bears. Taking a look at the Columbus River Dragons once again in the last 10 games, 6-3-1 record. Binghamton 5-5 five five in the last 10. Both teams coming off a victory, and the winner of this will have a little two-game win streak going on. So Binghamton uh, hoping to start the weekend on the right note. Columbus, though, a very tough opponent. Again, 27 wins on the season, 15 losses, five overtime losses in 47 games so they played a few less games than the Binghamton Black Bears earlier today was able to catch up and chat with Black Bears head coach Rod Davidson went back and talked about Sunday's game the overall trip to Carolina and what a big weekend this is for the Black Bears coach three big home games here at home this weekend against a very tough opponent what did you guys work on all week well um, looking over the film we noticed that they like to play the trap. So we were working on our breakouts and trying to yeah. um, put in some stretch plays and some things that we felt could counteract the way they play defensively. Um, they've got uh, the lowest goals against them in the league. So they're very sound defensively, obviously have good goaltending as well. Describe to listeners uh, the, the trap, and I know we've been talking about it a little bit this week, that they like to run that and, and trying to stretch out the neutral zone a bit. Just kind of go through what you have, what it is and, and what you have to do to counter it. Well, they, they try to force you to one side of the ice, um, normally with two forwards, and uh, they're trying to direct you and uh, dictate where the play is going to go. So there's ways to kind of beat that trap. Um, sometimes uh, pass D to D and up the boards quick on the opposite side is the easiest way to break the trap. Um, if you can flow th uh, somebody through the middle and catch them on that, uh, sometimes that works too. So um, with our speed, we should be able to counteract it. 
Go back to last weekend. Uh, I thought it was a very successful weekend for you guys. Uh, tough place to play they had some big crowds there the crowds were into it as well you guys came away with a, a gutsy win on sunday you're up uh, they come back you stay with it and then you get a, a huge ot winner you know it was a great weekend for us uh, carolina is a, a very good team a uh, very good fan base um, you know it was an enjoyable place to play to be honest with you and then uh, columbus they're a very defense uh, oriented team um, they're ahead of us in the standing, so we can help ourselves by winning uh, these last nine games would be really terrific. If we could, we'd really move up in the standings and have uh, a little bit more control of our destiny. But um, having a playoff spot clinched, we just have to work on our systems and get ready for playoff-style hockey. And this is a huge weekend. You mentioned they're right above you in the standings. You're trying to chase them. Each game in this league is, is worth three points. So, you know, now each game is worth six points against them, trying to chase them in the standings. Six times three could be an 18-point swing. That's right. So it's up to us. You know, the players, we've made them aware of uh, what the games really mean. And uh, Dan Barry as well, you know, the teams that we're kind of chasing and teams we can catch. All right, Coach, thanks. Have a fun one here this weekend. Yeah, thanks, Rob. That is Black Bears head coach Rod Davidson. We'll take a time out here on the Endwell Rug pregame show. We're getting you set for Black Bears and Columbus. First visit by the Columbus River Dragons here to Binghamton ever. We'll be back with more right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Progressive is America's number one motorcycle insurer, so we understand motorcycles. No, really, we have a bike translator. Okay, so this bike feels like he's capable of a little more than just trips to the convenience store. Oh, also, he wants to let you know that you can buy a gallon of ice cream instead of a pint every time. <laughs> Those are his words. So he said roughly like, blink the last wheel. It doesn't really translate, but the way he said it was super funny. <laughs> Get 24-7 roadside assistance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Roadside assistance subject to policy terms and limits and may require comprehensive coverage. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. My sweet cheeks feeling squeaky clean When Charmin's rolling behind the scenes Charmin TV gives me those cheeky clean feels That ultra strong hype is all for reals Those TV rolls got me a Charmin clean took it Cheek to cheek feeling oh so shook it Charmin ultra strong just cleans better. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Now back to more of the Endwell Rug pregame show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena here in Binghamton. Time for your scratches and injury update presented by the Court Jester Athletic Club. Scratches for the Columbus River Dragons. Levi Armstrong out of the lineup along with Justin Schmidt. Jagger Williamson will miss tonight's game. Jake Schultz and Dalton Anderson out along with goaltender Jared Rutledge. For the Binghamton Black Bears. Out of the lineup, Maverick Lines along with Gavin Abbott. Brandon Contrado will miss tonight along with Corey Sherman. Cameron Yarwood is out and Eric Oganizov as well. And Chris Marcillo is out of the lineup in net because Joe Shepard is back, but he will be backing up Owen Liskowitz. And that is a look at your scratches and injury update presented by the Court Jester Athletic Club, Binghamton's premier fitness facility. Just two other games going on in the FPHL here tonight. Out in, or up in Watertown, I should say. Delaware and the Watertown Wolves will battle it out. 7.30 puck drop in at 7.35. Carolina is hosting Danbury. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paulin State Farm. Visit them online at paulininsurance.com or call 607-798-7191. That's going to do it for the Endwell Rug pregame show. Endwell Rug, the best floor show in town. Give them a call, 607-748-7366. When we we come back we'll have the ebe cms imaging solutions opening face off black bears in columbus right after this on fox sports 1430 binghamton tonight's game on fox sports 1430 binghamton is brought to you in part by john paulin state farm and well rug 
Excite Motorsports, Big E Tire, Homer Men and Boys Store, Port Jester Athletic Club, Planet Fitness, Ross Park Zoo, Ideal Bowling Center, God Bless EBE, America, performed CMS, by Home Imaging Family. Solution, Visions Federal Credit Union, The Learning Ladder, and La Quinta Inn and Suites. Now, it's time to drop the puck. This is Binghamton Black Bears Hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton, iHeartRadio, and BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Get ready for the goals. Sight, slap shot, save me! Another save! Saves and hard-hitting action all season long. It's time for the EBE CMS Imaging Solutions opening face-off. Rebound scores! We go to ringside with a call of the action. From the Planet Fitness broadcast booth, here's Rob Lapolis. Welcome back inside Welcome back. the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, getting sent for the anthems here down to our left just a bit of a delay as they were getting back out onto the carpet bull teams out of the ice though and we should have the anthem coming up here in just a little bit Fans, the Holy Family. And now we honor our country with the national anthem performed by Gilbertsville Schools.
just about set to go here in Binghamton after just a little bit of a delay to get the anthem going, but they'll exit the ice and we're almost set to go on a Friday night. Rob the Polis with you. Time to take a look at the starting lineups tonight. Presented by Visions Federal Credit Union. And for the Binghamton Black Bears on defense, MJ Merkel paired up with Sam Turner. And up front, it's Josh Newberg, Hill Center, Nikita Ivashkin, and Gavin Yates, and Owen Liskowitz getting the starting net for the Binghamton Black Bears. In net at the other end of the ice will be number 31, Bailey McBurney. And McBurney, 14 7 0 and 4 record, 2.82 goals against average, and a .915 save percentage. You heard head coach Rod Davidson talking about the trap and how Binghamton can use some speed to try to get around that, trying to force the Black Bears to one side of the ice. And we'll see how that goes. And Columbus, one of the best teams if not the best in goals against in the entire league. Binghamton in their white jerseys. They will go from right to left on your radio dial and on YouTube. Columbus, baby blue jerseys, trimmed in red and black. They'll go left to right. Tonight's opening faceoff is presented by EBE CMS Imaging Solutions official printer provider of the Binghamton Black Bears. The puck is down and we are underway here on a Friday night. Long pass fumbled inside the neutral zone and brought ahead just over the line of blast and a save by Liskowitz right away. Ian White who's played over 500 NHL games with the first shot of the game rips it on net and Liskowitz able to pinch it for the first whistle 15 seconds into period one. Face off in Binghamton's defensive zone, left wing circle. It's Gavin Yates out to center. Yates over the blue line, dumps the puck in. Petrantonio gets to it first defensively, and Columbus trying to break out of the zone. Ivashki in for a hit down low. White holds on to the puck and plays it into the skates of Parker Moskal. Moscow lost it. White will have to pick up behind the net of Bailey McBurney. And White will try it again up the right wing side. Petrantonio, quick pass into the skates of Austin Doe. The shot by Doe. Another save by Liskowitz. Second whistle of the game, 51 seconds in. Shots are 2 to 1, Columbus. And a faceoff will be in Binghamton's defensive zone, right wing circle. First period presented by Cost Cutters. Whatever your style, they've got it. Schedule your next appointment at costcutters.com. Liskowitz will cover up, and we have three whistles in the first minute of period number one. Thomas Aldworth out on the ice. Danny Vanderweel taking the face off. Emil Strong to the left as well. Kyle Powell, Tyler Pikarski defensively. Puck is elevated out to center ice and gloved down by Adam Vanelli. Vanelli fires in deep. Kyle Powell on the breakout. Little hard for Thomas Aldworth. Went under his stick play. Back in the player entrance corner to the right of Binghamton's net. Out to the point. Vanelli a shot. Big rebound. Save made by Liskowitz. Now it trickles into the corner. Good pressure by Columbus. And a long shot by Vanelli again. This time gloved and held onto by Liskowitz with 18 minutes and 34 seconds to go in period number one. Binghamton head back home tomorrow night, Sunday afternoon, and then a Friday night game next Friday against Danbury. After this weekend, just three regular season home games remaining. Colin Fitzgerald up to the point, dumped into the opposite corner. Sam Turner is there. 
Turner now up the left wall. Molevat goes cross ice. Out of the reach of Tyler Jurich and flicked up off the top of the glass. Levac gloves it down. And that is onside. Onside twice. Puck hops straight up in the air. Levac pushed down to the ice. Gets right back up. And then saucers the puck all the way down the ice. Uh, the icing will be called. A lot of confusion on that as Bailey McBurney came out of the net to play that puck. But the whistle was blown nonetheless. 17.59 left to go in period number one. No score. Faceoff will be inside the neutral zone now because McBurney, although be at center ice, McBurney came out to play the puck. And because of that, they will drop it right at center ice. Levac wins it back to Sam Turner. Turner to Jurich. Jurich backhands the puck in deep. Mo Levac and Tyson Kirkby both after the loose puck. In behind the net, Ian White goes down to the ice. Back down to Kirkby. Up for Jurich. He rips a shot. And that goes wide of the net. Mo Levac, left wing wall, looking for Fitzgerald up top. Four player battle for the puck along the left boards. 17 and a half remaining in period one. Still no score. Jurich a foot inside the blue line. Lead Sam Turner. Turner shot blocked by Ian White. And White will pick up the puck in behind the Columbus net and slow things down a bit on the breakout pass. Binghamton realizing that. The Black Bears will change. Deflected all the way down. No icing. So Liskowitz will stop the puck for Colin Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald up the right wing wall. Back to Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald didn't like what he saw at center. Goes back to Turner. Turner fires out the right wing side. But Ivashkin had turned to his left. So it was intercepted. Brought right back into the offensive zone by Columbus. Bottom of the right wing circle. Puck up in the air. Turner leads Gavin Yates. Yates is in. Glove save by McBurney. What a save by the Columbus goaltender. 16.39 to go in the first. Gavin Yates almost getting that by the glove of McBurney. But he said no. Good luck by Sam Turner as well. Back underway. Face off in Binghamton's offensive zone. Left wing circle. Brought ahead by Columbus into the offensive zone. Josh Petrantonio. Petrantonio now up to the left point and then out of the glove of Liskowitz. We have a whistle on the play. Not sure, honestly, what the whistle was for, but we'll drop the puck inside the Black Bears defensive zone, right wing circle. Below the goal line, Danny Vanderweel up the right wing side. Backhands, the puck goes off the glass, and you could hear it hit the glass, so no delay a game. It'll just be another D zone draw, and Binghamton is unable to change. But they are able to change as that got tipped up and out. Kyle Powell, Tyler Pikarski come on defensively. Vanderweel, Aldworth, Strom still out. Powell over skate of the puck, lost it. And the Black Bears able to get back into position. Jack Riley behind the net, intercepted by Strom. Strom gives it right back. Alex Storjahan. Now it's Thomas Aldworth. Offensive zone, left wing circle. Aldworth works the puck in behind the net. Vanderweel to Aldworth. Back here he scores. Danny Vanderweel to Thomas Aldworth. And Binghamton has a 1 0 lead with 15.49 to go in the first. Getting one. And a one nothing lead for the good guys here.
that's Aldworth unassisted time of the well, goal 4-11. There should be an assist to Danny Vanderweel behind the net and we'll see if that maybe gets changed. 15-18 to go in period number one and Binghamton already out to a 1-0 lead. Columbus though never going to go away. We saw that when Binghamton was down in Columbus. So Binghamton a 1-0 lead. 14.53 to go in period number one. It should read Vanderweel with the first assist on the goal by Thomas Aldworth. Backhanded in behind the net. And lift it up. Fitzgerald holds it in. Got tangled up, though, with Nikita Ivashkin. They both wanted a puck. Now they got to hustle back. Left wing circle. Good play defensively by Sam Turner. Knocking the puck away. Josh Newberg helping out below the goal line. Newberg ran out of room. Goes back to Colin Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald to Sam Turner. And Turner connects with the lefty Nikita Ivashkin. Ivashkin through center ice. Josh Newberg dumps the puck in. Ivashkin will get there first, looking around for help. Ivashkin, good cut. He's in. Fires it over the crossbar. Had Gino D'Angelo open to the right side. Ivashkin again tries to get the puck to the net. Missed the net. Gino D'Angelo along the left wing wall. Cycles down for Ivashkin. It got by him. And the breakout pass by Chase Carter out through center. Petrantonio lost it. The puck goes right back to Petrantonio on the side. He lost it, gets it back, shot, and a save. Sam Turner, the puck was rolling on him, went right onto the stick of Petrantonio. And just missing. 13.26 to go in the first live in Binghamton. A 1-0 lead for the Black Bears. Danny Vanderweel. Vanderweel right side, Aldworth, Aldworth looking for Strom in front of the net. Picked off, back the other way, Jack Riley. Riley, eight points on the season. Takes a big hit, dishes the puck off to Alex Storjahan, and a save by Liskowitz. We'll take our first time out. 13.06, left to go, period one. Thomas Aldworth has given the Black Bears a one nothing lead. Back right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports. 14.30, Binghamton. Binghamton, get ready for WWE Sunday Stunner. April 24th at Vision's Veterans Memorial See Roman Reigns defend the Universal Championship against Drew McIntyre. I'm going to make your life hell. In a triple threat match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, The New Day and Sheamus and Ridge Hunt challenge the Usos. Plus, SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair and Roman. Tickets start at $15. Available now at the box office and Ticketmaster. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Just talking with the off-ice crew up top here. Looks like there will be an assist eventually added for Danny Vanderweel on that goal as he clearly pushed the puck to Aldworth. This line back out on the ice, shot from the left point, sails high over the crossbar, one-timer, that misses the net, and then poked away by Owen Liskowitz into the corner where the player entrance is. Low shot from the point, puck loose, top of the crease, and Merkel fires up, kept in left side by Edgars Ozelinch. Ozelinch looking for Jack Riley, couldn't find him. Now Thomas Aldworth. Lost the puck, Matthew Boilar. Boilar trying to get around the defense, but the last guy was Edgar Zoselinch. Those are a couple of big guys. Oldworth, he's got two. Thomas Oldworth strikes again, and Binghamton has a 2 nothing lead with 12.23 left in the first. Aldworth picked up the puck, went right to the front of the net after Boilard brought it into the zone. It's 
So the Black Bears. Thomas Aldworth, his second of the night. Assisted by number 16, Emil Strom, and number 43, Matthew Bullard. Time of the goal, 7.37. That's Aldworth, second of the night from Strom and Bullard. Time of the goal, 7.37. Back on the way. A 2 nothing lead for Binghamton. Kirkby, Jurich, shot in a right leg pad saved by McBurney. Up the right wing boards. Kirk Underwood. Gets the puck in deep. Owen Liskowitz comes out, finds Mo Levac along the boards. And now Kyle Powell below the goal line. Powell waiting behind the net. And Columbus just giving him the breakout, really. And Powell gonna hang on to it. Gavin Yates swings in down low. Powell to Ivashkin. Ivashkin shooting save made by McBurney and then batted out of midair out to center ice. Sam Turner back for Gavin Yates. Nikita Ivashkin is on Jake Grade. They collide into the left wing boards. Petri Antonio now with Josh Newbert. Newbert back to Fitzgerald. D to D pass to Sam Turner. Up to Gavin Yates. Yates lost the puck. Goes right to Newbert. He'll dump it in with 10 minutes and 40 seconds left to go in the first period. Right below the goal line, Jake Grade. Grade fires out to center. Pops over a stick. No icing. Liskowitz leaves it for Fitzgerald. Colin Fitzgerald on the breakout. Fitzgerald to center, right side Ivashkin. Ivashkin breaks. Tried to take the shot, he had two guys on him. That didn't work, 10-15 remaining in the first. Now the Black Bears gotta get back. Little crisscross, backhand, picked off by Gavin Yates. Yates has Ivashkin and Merkel with him. Gavin Yates around the defense. Yates backhander. And McBurney got the left leg pad out. And denied Gavin Yates. And then Yates was flattened by Alex Torjansen. Over the blue line. Alex Storjahan lost it over the blue line, and now Aldworth looking for the hat trick. Aldworth can't slip it in on the left side. Looking for the first period hat trick. Binghamton a 2-0 lead. McBurney has been fantastic, though, the last few shifts. Wild play, and now they're going to, what are they going to call here? Is it on Binghamton, though, or Columbus? It's a tackle in the... Black Bears defensive zone. Who's this going to be on? We'll take a timeout. 9.27 left in the first. 2 nothing Black Bears. We're back right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. New hockey team in town means all new gear. Dress like the Black Bears and go online to blackbearshop.com. The all-new blackbearshop.com has t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, jerseys, and so much more. Do you want a custom jersey with your name and number? We can do that too. Stop by the merchandise stand at all Black Bears home games or even come by the front office during office hours. Show your Binghamton hockey pride by visiting blackbearshop.com. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. 9.27 left to go in period number one. Binghamton Black Bears with a 2-0 lead, and it's time for a Big E Tire power play. Black Bears power play is presented by Big E Tire. Nobody beats their prices, nobody. Kyle Powell, Thomas Aldworth, Tyson Kirkby, Mo Levac, and Tyler Jurich out of the ice. Interference, time of the penalty, 11.33. That's Riley, two minutes for interference. Time of the penalty, 11.33. Aldworth taken down to the ice, and he went shoulder first in getting up slowly as play continues. Jurich right side for Mo Levac, and Aldworth is going to stay out there. 
Waiting at the high slot. Jurich, left wing circle, back up top Powell. Right side for Levac. And now Thomas Oldworth gonna come off the ice to the bench slowly. We'll see if he's okay. Emil Strom is off for him. Strom, his pass out of the region. Columbus can't clear. Powell off the boards for Jurich. And kept in. Powell, ooh, boy. Job by Powell onto that, and then Powell held onto the puck a bit and backhanded it accidentally outside of the zone. Petrantonio, and then it's covered by Liskowitz with 8.08 to go in period one. And an opportunity shorthanded there for Columbus. 42 seconds remaining in the big E tire power play. Binghamton a 2-0 lead, shots even at seven. Thomas Aldworth both the goal so far for the Black Bears. He was so close to a third. And Bailey McBurney with some big saves after the Black Bears took both the 1-0 lead and then the 2-0 lead as well. Second goal by Aldworth, assisted by Strom and Boilar. Ivashkin, glove saved by McBurney with 7.49 left to go in the first. In the first goal for Aldworth, Reed's unassisted right now, but that is most likely going to change. As Binghamton, it was Danny Vanderweel below the goal line. He went down to the ice and then leaned to push the puck to Aldworth that allowed him to move back out to the front of the net and send a backhander over the shoulder of McBurney. But the most important thing is the Black Bears have a lead. Emil Strom is in. Good shot and a good save made by Bailey McBurney. Gavin Yates in the corner down to our left. Penalty is over. Yates inside the trapezoid for Ivashkin. Ivashkin up top, Turner. Turner shoots, no rebound, and a great save through traffic by McBurney with 7.16 remaining in period number one. Ideal bowling centers where Binghamton hockey fans bowl with open bowling all week along with money saving specials. Ideal is a great place for family, friends, company parties and special occasions. Ideal bowling center, 119 Jennings Street. And in Cot, there's so much more than just your favorite bowling alley. Tyler Jurich's shot went wide of an end. Molovac fighting through the pressure. Cycles it to Tyson Kirkby, who's pushed out of the ice. Kirkby right back to Levac. Good work along the boards by those two. Kirkby breaks free. He's alone shooting, lifted it over the crossbar. Molovac behind the net. Levac tied up in the corner. The pass by Molovac intercepted by Smith. And then Kyle Powell stepped up, knocking the puck free as MJ Graham got tied up with Levac. Tyler Jurich will fire in, Ozilinch on him. And Ian White scoops up the puck behind the net. White, right side on the breakout for Kirk Underwood. Underwood just out of the reach of Joseph Smith. Smith, Pekarski went down to the ice. Smith to the front, but a great play by Pekarski. Intercepted the pass after falling down, brings it ahead. Lost it. Underwood right back the other way, two on two. Underwood right side, in front for Smith. Left leg pad saved made by Owen Liskowitz with 6-12 left to go in the first. Another puck comes free, diving, and now it's Gavin Yates. Down the left wing side, Yates has Carter on him and then a good play defensively. That was Chase Carter taking the puck away. Now ahead to Jay Krupp. Krupp around, bottom of the left circle. He lifts the puck high and missed the net. Came up to the right point. Parker Moskal holds it in. And now Columbus in the middle of the line change. 5.40 to go, period one. Binghamton two, Columbus nothing. We're live inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Ivashkin takes a check, gets the puck to Josh Newberg. His shot, save made. Newberg gets his own rebound and just missed. That's you, Bobar. Petri Antonio on him. Gavin Yates to the front. Great defensive play by Parker Moskal. Lifting the stick of Ivashkin. Now to center. Moskal shoots. Deflected. And that goes out of play with 5-12 remaining in period one. Hey, college students, every Saturday home game, you can get a 
$10 ticket, an antique that ticket stub over to Dillinger's after the game for a buy one, get one free drink. That's $10 tickets for college students every Saturday home game and a buy one, get one free drink at Dillinger's after the game. You must be 21. Face off in Binghamton's defensive zone right wing circle with 5-12 left to go. A lot coming up at home for the Black Bears. Two more home games this weekend. And then just three home games remaining after that. Petra Antonio lost the puck to Matthew Wallar. Thomas Aldworth, little toe drag, and he had his pocket picked. Austin Doe gave it right back. Now Boilard gave it back. The turnovers here in the past 15 seconds. Backhanded by MJ Merkel to center ice. Two on two. Strom leads Vanderweel with a pass below the goal line. Danny Vanderweel spins away from the hit by Petra Antonio right to the top of the crease. Now Strom, Powell over to MJ Merkel. His shot, blocker pad saved by Bailey McBurney. Thomas Aldworth back to Kyle Powell inside the neutral zone. Powell, Strom hit hard. Aldworth fires it high over the crossbar. Strom took a big hit. He's going to stay out there defensively as Powell now leads Aldworth. Strom comes to the bench. Kirkby is on for him. Vanderweel is replaced by Molevac. Four minutes to go in period one. Tyler Jurich is on for Aldworth. That completes the offensive line change. Under four minutes remaining in the first. Black Bears a 2-0 lead. Tyler Pikarski, bottom of the left circle, the one-timer by Alex Storjahan and a save by Liskowitz. We'll take a break. 3.47 left to go in period number one. Binghamton, a 2-0 lead on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 14.30, Binghamton. Check out a Binghamton Black Bears game like you've never seen before for the Skybox Night or Group Night. You can even watch warm-ups from the Black Bears bench with your friends. High five the players as they take the ice and so much more. Or watch the game in style in a Skybox. And check out a new and improved food and drink menu. Call the Black Bears at 607-722-7367 and begin your group or Skybox experience. Now back to more Black Bears Hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Big Upton. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, Rob Lapolis. The Black Bears, a 2-0 lead. Thomas Aldworth has a pair of goals so far in this one. Off the face-off, one back to Kyle Powell. 3.40 to go in the first. Gloved out of the air by Carter. He had Kirk be right on him. Knocked out by Powell. They'll say it was a hand pass and a quick whistle with 3.31 to go in the first. Now well, after the Hart Cup tomorrow, and Shoppers Club Card Day Sunday. The Black Bears are back April 8th. It is Friday against Danbury at 7 o'clock. And then April 15th, it's the final weekend of the regular season. As the puck is sent down the ice, icing waved off, though, with 3.18 to go in period one. And the pass back out to center ice. Smith lost it. Levac hit him. And now Tyler Pikarski. Pikarski to Powell. Powell to Mo Levac. Levac backhand to Jurich. Jurich right side. Back to Levac. Levac ensuring save McBurney. With two minutes and 59 seconds left to go in the first. And a 2 0 lead. Uh, April 15th, Cowbell giveaway. Courtesy of United Methodist Homes against Carolina. And the Black Bears. 
the 16th, a lot going on, throwback night. The Black Bears wearing special broom dusters themed jerseys as old time hockey back for a night. Also downhill double header with the Binghamton Rumble Ponies for $20. You can get a ticket to the Rumble Ponies game at 105 and then the Black Bears game at 6 p.m. that night. So get those at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Shot, big C by McBurney. Josh Newberg with a great tip at the hash marks on the nice low shot by Colin Fitzgerald. Great save. Ivashkin, Newberg, D'Angelo on. Boilar and Merkel up defensively. One to the left side by Newberg. Ozilinch takes over. Back to Ian White behind the net. White on the breakout to center ice. Austin Doe has it. Doe drops it back left side. Shot and a pad save by Liskowitz. Rebound there and now Ivashkin. Ivashkin is in. Backhands into the skates of Newberg. Couldn't hold on to it. Edgar Zozalinc to the right wing side for Austin Doe. Doe 71 points in 47 games for Columbus. Two minutes remaining in period number one. Ivashkin to Gino D'Angelo. D'Angelo right side in behind the net. Holds on to the puck. Gino D'Angelo to Matthew Wallar. Just high. What a scrape off the face mask of Bailey McBurney. Backhanded deeper by Parker Moskal down low below the goal line. Edgar Zosilich having trouble. Ivashkin front of the net. Puck rolled off the end of his stick. Stepping up was Newberg. Newberg pushed by Moskal, then just off the glass. And Matthew Ballar gloves it at center, but Petri Antonio takes it away. Winds, fires, had to get rid of it quickly and missed the net by about five feet. A minute 20 to go in period one. Pass cross ice. Chase Carter. Now Emil Strom back to Tyler Pikarski. Pikarski to Gavin Yates. Yates gets through one check. That was Adam Vanelli with a chance, but then coming in to finish it was Joseph Smith. Alex Storjahan. Storjahan front of the net. Adam Vanelli was there. And now a three on one. Allworth. Yates has it for Strom out of his reach. Black Bears couldn't get a shot away. That was a three on one. 40 seconds to go in period one. Out to center, Kyle Powell. Over the stick of Aldworth. 30 seconds to go in the first. Stay with us. Excite Motorsports first period intermission report coming up. Highlights, stats, out of town scores. And we'll get you set for period two. Yates going to add to the lead. 17 seconds to go in the first. Yates, bottom of the right circle. Ran out of space. Backhands behind the net. And the Black Bears forced the pass up the left wing side. Five seconds to go. Pikarski pushes it ahead. All the way. And that is it for 20 minutes. The Black Bears, a 2-0 lead here at home over the Columbus River Dragons. We will take a timeout. When we come back, though, we'll kick off tonight's Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. Binghamton 2, Columbus nothing. We're back with the Excite Motorsports first period intermission report right after this timeout on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Be the first to get all the latest Binghamton Black Bears news, special exclusive offers, and stay up to date on upcoming games by signing up to join the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and sign up today. You'll receive team-related news delivered right to your inbox. Keep an eye out for special exclusive offers only available to email club members. It's the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Sign up and start saving money today. 
When a hockey team ends up with six skaters and a goalie on the ice, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for car insurance than you need to, it can also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts could mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call State Farm agent John Paulin in Johnson City today at 607-798-7191. Get access to exclusive player events, monthly parties, and road trips to away Black Bears games. This is what you get when you become a member of the Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Stop by the Booster Club table behind Section 4 at the next Black Bears home game, pick up a 50-50 ticket, and sign up to join for just $10. Stay up to date on the Booster Club by liking their Facebook page, facebook.com slash Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Monthly meetings with players, road trips, and a whole lot of fun when you join the Black Bears Booster Club. The Homer Men and Boys Store, a family-owned business providing clothing and footwear for the entire family since 1951. Located just 40 minutes north on Route 81 in the beautiful village of Homer. The Homer Men and Boys Store carries a huge inventory of name-brand products at discounted prices like Carhartt, Red Wing, Carolina, Levi's, Columbia, North Face, Timberland, and many more. We carry all sizes from size 3 months up to 5X. We treat our customers like members of our family. If we don't have it, you don't need it. The Homer Men and Boys Store, located 40 miles north on Route 81. Take exit 12 and follow the signs to Homer or see us on the web at homermensandboys.com. The first period is in the books. It's time for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. A recap of the first period, interviews, highlights, out-of-town scores, and more. Back up to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. Here's Rob Lapolis. 20 minutes gone here inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena and 40 minutes to go. It is time for the Excite Motorsports first period intermission report. Excite Motorsports browse, ride, buy. Free next day delivery to New York and PA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. Well, the Black Bears a two to nothing lead. And take a look at the stat recap from that first 20. Shots on that 15 for the Black Bears, 10 for Columbus. As the River Dragons started off pretty hot. They had a lot of good chances early on, maybe in the first two, two and a half minutes of the game, but then Binghamton turned the tide. Thomas Aldworth at 4-11 of period number one, giving Binghamton a one nothing lead the pass was by Danny Vanderweel behind the net. Aldworth then worked the puck out to the top of the crease and lifted a backhand over the shoulder of Bailey McBurney to give the Black Bears a 1-0 lead. Then at 7.37, Thomas Aldworth struck again. This time assist by Emil Strom and Mathieu Boilard. Aldworth would move the puck to the front of the net, put a move on, slid it past the left leg pad of McBurney, his second of the game and 13th of the season. So Aldworth with goals 12 and 13 in period number one. Penalties in that first frame, just one of them. Interference called Jack Riley at 10 minutes and 32 seconds of the opening period. So the Binghamton Black Bears had some great chances as well. Bailey McBurney had to make some big time saves. This could be a three or four nothing lead for the Black Bears. As Thomas Aldworth almost got that hat trick in period number one. At the other end of the ice, Owen Liskowitz. A very good period. He faced 10 shots. He stopped them all. Rebound control was great. And he made some nice glove saves as well. And Binghamton, that is what the Black Bears needed in the first 20 minutes of action here on home ice. And we'll see if they can keep that up for the final two periods of play. With that said, we'll step aside for our first commercial break on the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. But before we go, are you interested in providing care to people with disabilities? Check out a New York State career with Broom OPWDD, job security, health insurance, retirement plans, paid time off, and so much more. Positions such as direct support professionals in the community might be exactly the change of pace that you're looking for. For more information, call 607-240-4786 or go online to opwdd.ny.gov and click apply now 
We'll be back with the highlights of the first period presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. The Excite Motorsports first period intermission report continues right after this from Binghamton on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Hi folks, Erwin Coe Sr. here from Big E Tire. It's our buy three, get one absolutely free sale. Oh, I know what you're saying. Wow, another tire sale. No, there's more. Listen, now when you buy three tires from Big E, you will get one tire absolutely free with free mounting, free lifetime balancing, free rotations, free 90-day road hazard warranty, free alignment check, free 30-day ride guarantee. Yeah, it's good, because the other guys charge you for everything. At Big E, everything is free. Interest-free financing for up to 12 months and the fastest air-free alignments in the Northeast. So call for details or just stop in. And thanks for the business. Sport cars and trucks and tractors too. Everything's right, so right for you. Best all around our Big E Tire and Auto Center. Big E Tire. Since 1939, Inwell Rug has been family-owned and operated with one goal in mind, complete customer satisfaction. Inwell Rug offers a full spectrum of the finest quality floor covering products, and they are the premier installer at Binghamton University. Inwell Rug was voted the Reader's Choice Award winner for Best Flooring Store in 2019 and in 2020. With two locations in Inwell and Oninata, they're the best floor show in town. Inwell Rug at 607-748-7366. The Binghamton Black Bears are hitting the ice this season at Visions Federal Credit Union Veterans Memorial Arena. And we want you to see all the hard-hitting action of Black Bears hockey all season long. That's why Visions members can get discounted tickets to every home game this season. It's one of the many reasons to join the Visions family today. To get your member discount and see the Black Bears in action, visit visionsfcu.org slash events. Visions Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in downtown Binghamton as we continue the Excite Motorsports first period intermission report with highlights presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Early on, great save as Gavin Yates was on a breakaway, but Bailey McBurney making the save to keep the game scoreless. The offensive zone by Columbus, bottom of the right wing circle, puck up in the air, Turner leads Gavin Yates, Yates is in, glove save by McBurney. What a save by the Columbus goaltender. 16.39 to go. So the Black Bears know a score after Gavin Yates stopped on that breakaway chance early on. But Binghamton would cash in as Thomas Aldworth. Great play behind the net by Danny Vanderweel to get the puck to Aldworth. He came to the top of the crease from below the goal line and lifted a shot over the shoulder of McBurney to get Binghamton a 1-0 lead. Thomas Aldworth, offensive zone, left wing circle. Aldworth works the puck in behind the net. Vanderweel to Aldworth, back and he scores! So the Black Bears, a 1-0 lead. There is currently no assist to, to Vanderweel. We'll keep checking that back. But it should be Danny Vanderweel with the only assist on that play. The goal came 4-11 into period number one. Binghamton at a 1-0 lead. Then shortly after, 7-37. Aldworth again. Binghamton up by two. Ballar, Ballar trying to get around the defense. But the last guy was Edgar Zozelinch. Those are a couple of big guys. Aldworth! Thomas Allworth strikes again, and Binghamton has a 2-0 lead with 12-23 left in the first. So the Black Bears a 2-0 lead after that Allworth goal assist by Emil Strom and Mathieu Boilard. And that is it for the highlights of period number one. The highlights brought to you as always by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. They 
are sitting behind Sanction 4 on the concourse. Visit their table and join the Booster Club at the next Black Bears home game. We'll take another time out here on the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. When we return, we'll have the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Pauling State Farm. Stay with us. Out-of-town scores coming your way next on your home for Black Bears Hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Get moving today with the Planet Fitness Black Card and check out all the perks, like access to over 2,000 locations, bring a guest anytime, plus massage chairs and so much more. With tons of space in our super clean clubs, your fitness is essential. Get all the perks with the PF Black Card. Commitment may apply. See club for details. The Ross Park Zoo sits tucked into the northern face of Binghamton's South Mountain. The zoo officially opened in 1875 and is the fifth oldest zoo in the country. Come view over 100 different species. Are you planning your next event? Train rides, the children's zoo, Ross Park Carousel, Snack Shack, Gift Shop, and special education stations are just some of the reasons why Ross Park Zoo should be your next event. You can even set up wild encounters. Give Ross Park Zoo a call at 607-724-5461 or online at rossparkzoo.org. Getting your hands on an all-new CF Moto side-by-side or four-wheeler is now easier than ever at excitemotorsports.com. Purchase your next power sports vehicle with our new, easy, and quick online buying experience. Browse inventory on excitemotorsports.com. Buy. Get approved for financing and e-sign online right from your phone. Ride. Have your new power sports vehicle delivered to your home the next day at no extra charge. Browse. Buy. Ride. Buy starts here at ExciteMotorsports.com. Trivium Packaging, a global leader in sustainable metal packaging with more than 60 locations worldwide, has immediate openings at its Conklin, New York facility. Trivium serves a diverse range of customers and is an essential part of the U.S. food supply chain. Trivium Packaging offers excellent compensation and benefits like these. Apply anytime at TriviumPackaging.com slash careers or scan the QR code on the screen. Trivium Packaging currently has openings for tool and die technician, mechanical technician, and quality technician and shipping and receiving technician. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Time for the out of town scoreboard presented by John Paul in State Farm. Seven minutes and 21 seconds into the game up in Watertown. And the Wolves, no score with the Delaware Thunder. Shots are three to one, Watertown. And the final game down in Carolina, it's Danbury, a one nothing lead over the Carolina Thunderbirds. Eight minutes and 45 seconds into the game. Johnny Ruiz, who else has given Danbury the one nothing advantage? That goal came 236 in two, period number one. In the National Hockey League, game's underway right now at the end of one. It's goals for everyone in Buffalo. The Nashville Predators and Buffalo Sabres tied at three. Blackhawks and Lightning even at two. 16.35 left to go in the first period there. So, always some big time scores early on in games in the NHL. The New York Islanders, a 1-0 lead over the Rangers after one. Senators lead 2-0 in Detroit. Midway through period one later tonight, St. Louis will visit the Edmonton Oilers at nine. At 10 o'clock, the Seattle Kraken hosting the Vegas Golden Knights. In the final game of the night, the Anaheim Ducks visit the Arizona Coyotes. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paulin State Farm. Visit them online at pauluninsurance.com or call 607-798-7191. That's going to do it for the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. Excite Motorsports, browse, ride, buy. Free next day delivery to New York NPA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. Com. Second period action coming your way next on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton.
EBE CMS Imaging Solutions is the official printer provider of the Binghamton Black Bears. For over 40 years, they've been serving businesses around the southern tier. Locally owned and operated, EBE CMS Imaging Solutions has a full line of authorized Canon, Sharp, and Kyocera products. With multi-function printers, copiers, and fax machines, they'll help you determine which product is best for your needs, and their staff provides fast and efficient service. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions, 607-723-0000. Zero. After three home games this weekend, hard-hitting action of Black Bears hockey is back next Friday night as they host the Danbury Hattricks at 7 p.m. Binghamton and Danbury, Friday, April 8th at 7 p.m. Also, playoff hockey is back in Binghamton. Secure your seats for the 2021-22 Commissioner's Cup at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. The area's premier fitness facility, Court Jester Athletic Club, is excited to be open and ready to serve you during your next workout. Join in a new and improved gym experience with fitness and safety top of mind. Updated cleaning and sanitation procedures will help keep you healthy and ready to keep pushing. Plus, utilize the newly renovated and remodeled equipment and exercise spaces. Reach your goals and escape your limits at Court Jester Athletic Club, a one-stop fitness experience. CryoWorks helps you with cold therapy, just like the ice the black bears skate on. CryoWorks uses freezing temperatures to create a healing process. In just minutes, cryotherapy helps reduce inflammation, improves muscle tissue recovery, and boosts your immune system. CryoWorks uses three different forms of therapy, whole body, local, and cryofacial. The Black Bears players trust CryoWorks, and so should you. Visit them at 26 South Washington Street, Binghamton, 607-269-5392. CryoWorks, wellness without medicine. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. Welcome back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lapolis, as we're getting set to go here for period number two. The Black Bears will go from left to right on your radio dial and on YouTube in the white jerseys. Columbus in those powder baby blue jerseys will go from right to left. First period scoring once again. They've added another assist, not only to Danny Vanderweel, but Emil Strom. So Strom with a couple of helpers. So it's Vanderweel with the first assist, and Emil Strom with the second assist. First Black Bears goal by Thomas Aldworth. We have assists now going to number seven, Dan Vanderweel, and number 16, Emil Strom. Well, there you have it. So the Black Bears adding a couple of assists to that first goal scored by Thomas Aldworth. Underway in period number two. 30 seconds gone in the second. MJ Merkel behind the net. Danny Vanderweel run into by Petrantonio. Along the right wing boards. Petrantonio backhands to the front of the net. Intercepted by Thomas Aldworth. Aldworth over the blue line. Left circle snapshot. And that goes high and off the netting. But play continues. Must have. The net was moving. It definitely scraped the net, but it was so hard to tell. That play just rolled on. Kirkby over the blue line. Edgar Zosa Lynch took the puck back from him, looking for Josh Petrantonio. And now Colleen Fitzgerald up for Tyson Kirkby. Kirkby gave it away. Taken right back on side. Molovac, he lost it. Backhand picked off by Sam Turner. Turner to Jurich, Jurich to Levac, Levac to Jurich. Back for Levac, but he was stepped into by Joseph Smith. Riley, Jack Riley, right circle shot, that missed. Backhanded deeper by Joseph Smith, down low below the goal line, taken back by Colin Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald up the left wing wall. Tyson Kirkby leaning forward, trying to get the puck out of his own, could not. Good start to the period for Columbus. 
Then Mola back will find Kirkby. Kirkby settles the puck to Turner. Turner over the blue line, down the right wing side, low shot, padded away by Bailey McBurney. And right back out to center ice, Joseph Smith. Oh, and blowing a tire down low was Alex Storjahan. Storjahan gets up and skates back to the bench. Not sure if he's hurt or not. Gino D'Angelo, meanwhile, at the other end of the ice, has the puck in the Black Bears offensive zone. Sends it off the skate of one of the officials, and right back out through center is Hunter Bersani. Bersani, shot, glove, save, Liskowitz, and a whistle with 17.31 left to go in period number two. Binghamton a 2 0 lead. Face off in Binghamton's defensive zone, left wing circle, Nikita Ivashkin all the way on the other end of the ice on the right wing wall, tipped in front of the net, just wide. Tyler Pikarski, backhand front of the net, off the skates of Pikarski. Jay Krupp battling in front of the net with Pikarski, and the puck is held on the right wing boards. Now behind the net to Pikarski. Pikarski for Nikita Ivashkin. He tried to go off the wall. Kept in. High slot. Save made by Liskowitz. Rebound goes to Kyle Powell. Ivashkin tried to get out of the zone. Backhands the puck now to Gino D'Angelo. D'Angelo over the blue line. Little toe drag lost it. And Josh Newberg his pass. He was hit looking for Ivashkin. 16 minutes, 45 seconds remaining. In period number two, Rob Lapolis with you. Emil Strom, a shot. Save made by Bailey McBurney. Pekarski gloves the puck down at center, tries to bring it into the zone, but Strom was unable to get out in time, and that's offside with 16.29 left in period two. WWE is returning to Binghamton. Get ready for the Sunday Stunner on April 24th right here at Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Roman Reigns defends the Intercontinental Championship against Drew McIntyre. Also, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship will be up for grabs as well. Tickets start at just $15. Visit the Morabito box office or Ticketmaster. 16-16 to go in the second. Thomas Aldworth, two goals in the first period, and the Black Bears have a 2-0 advantage. Shots are 17-12, Binghamton. Austin Doe to the front of the net. Emil Strom trying to get the puck out. MJ Merkel, tight quarters, backhands the puck, goes off the stick of Danny Vanderweel, and Thomas Aldworth was reaching for it, but Edgar Zosalinch takes over. Zosalinch for Columbus. Forced back into his own end. Pass to the blue line for Austin Doe. Little give and go with Josh Petrantonio, but a good defensive play. And now a whistle as the Black Bears were on a quick rush. Not sure if that touched someone on Binghamton's bench or not. 15.35 to go in the second. Right in front of the Columbus bench. We get 15.35 remaining in the second. Molevac, Tyler Jurich. And Tyson Kirkby. Fitzgerald to Molevac. Levac cross ice. Jurich deflected on net by Levac and a save made by Bailey McBurney. Molevac back to Tyson Kirkby inside the right wing circle. Kirkby down low to Jurich. Jurich behind the net, pinned up against the boards, and the breakout pass, turnover, Kirkby. Now Levac back to Kirkby down low behind the net, spins away from pressure, looking for Mo Levac, and now one-on-one, -on -one, Alex Storjahan. Storjahan for Columbus, save made by Owen Liskowitz, low shot. Trying to catch Liskowitz moving to his right. Storjahan swung the puck back to his left. And Liskowitz flashed that pad out. Jurich lost the puck along the wall. Jack Riley has it. Riley gave it back to Colin Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald to Sam Turner behind the net. Turner to Kirkby, back to Turner. Reverses to Colin Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald on the breakout, out through center ice. Stepping up and that is onside. 
wide wrister by Hunter Bersani and a save by Liskowicz. 14-22 left to go in the second. We'll take a break. 2-0 Binghamton on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 14-30 Binghamton. Rolando's Diner is now open. Rolando's Diner, a 50-year tradition in Binghamton, is now open. They are still located in the same place, 140 Court Street, and they still have the same great menu and same great prices. Daily and weekly specials available. They missed you and can't wait to see all of their happy customers again. Rolando's Diner, eat in or take out. Open 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. daily. Call 607-723-9058 for takeout. See you soon. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, the Black Bears have e-gift cards available. You can choose to look at a card, how much to put on the card, and you can send it through email. It can be used for tickets or merchandise. Black Bears e-gift cards available right now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. <laughs> Kyle Powell below the goal line, backhands the puck off the end wall, taken out of the stick of Kirk Underwood. Top of the left dot, Gavin Yates whacks at it, and Tyler Pikarski hit hard by Jay Krupp inside the defensive zone left wing circle, but he got right back up, and Gavin Yates brings the puck ahead through center. Yates down the left side, stops, finds Gino D'Angelo behind the net. D'Angelo pinned by Krupp, who just had that big hit on Pikarski. And now the pass taken by Jake Grade. Gray to Krupp, Gavin Yates comes in for a big hit attempt on Krupp, but Krupp is much bigger. Yates stayed on his feet as well. Ivashkin, Austin Doe, quick into the offensive zone. Parker Moskal, Moskal couldn't do anything, and now it's Nikita Ivashkin the other way. Ivashkin one on three, splits the D, draws a penalty, and Binghamton will go to the... Big E tire power play with 13-17 remaining in the second period, up two to nothing. The Black Bears have special jersey auctions happening all season long. Just keep checking back to BinghamtonBlackBears.com to see current and upcoming ways you can get your hands on game worn jerseys. Right now, you can bid on the Autism Awareness jerseys that the Black Bears will be wearing tomorrow night. Live online auction happening right now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. On the power play. Tyler Jurich left side, down low to Moldovac. Levac to Jurich. Jurich up top to Powell. Powell shot, save. McBurney covers, puck comes free, but he had had it covered when the whistle blew exactly seven minutes into the second period. Nineteen thirteen, the shots. McBurney had it covered a couple of times and then the puck would squirt free. And right as the whistle blew, the puck came out again, but he did have it covered. Tyson Kirkby up to Kyle Powell. Jarrett shoots, looking short side. Great shoulder save by McBurney. And then Columbus will clear. Kyle Powell's got a hustle. And they should come back to help out Powell as well. Tyson Kirkby will do that. Good job. Right side to Aldworth through center ice. Aldworth lost the puck. Quick forehand to backhand. Aldworth up the right wing side. Ian White is on him. And now Mo Levac. Levac, Jurich to Powell. Powell right through the crease. Tough angle shot, so that missed the net and easily came out of the zone. Jurich will regroup. Tyler Jurich, Kyle Powell off the left wing wall. Tyson Kirkby trying to get to it first. Emil Strom behind the net. Strom to Jurich, under a minute to go in the power play. Powell, tip in front, scores! Shot from the point, got tipped. And Binghamton, a power play goal. This 
just got tipped in front of the net. Powell the shot. I think that was in before Strom touched it. Yeah. I think that will be Kirkby's goal. He tipped it, I think, from the point. Well, that'll be a tough one. We'll wait to see. Strom led the line down. And we'll wait for the call, but we got a couple of good looks at that. And it looked like Strom maybe touched it after it had completely crossed the goal line. Either way, though, here's the call. Seed Emil Strom. Assisted by number seven, Dan Vanderweel, and number 27, Kyle Powell. Time of the goal, 7.59. That's Strom from Vanderweel and Powell. Time of the goal, 7.59. Well, they've given, it must have been Vanderweel with the tip in front of the net. Thought it might have been Kirkby. And we'll see if maybe that gets changed. And Bingham Chan going right back to the Big E tire power play after scoring. Face off in the offensive zone, left wing circle. Off the face off, Columbus will clear. Two minutes for holding, time of the penalty, 829. That's Vanelli, two minutes for holding, time of the penalty, 829. So Binghamton. A three to nothing lead and then a giveaway on the breakout. Black Bears have a three nothing lead here on home ice. Emil Strom, the latest goal, and we'll see if that stands. Black Bears lost the puck. Columbus on the PK, able to clear once again. 10.50 to go in the second, three nothing Binghamton. Hammered up the wall, kept in by Jurich. Jurich front of the net. Kirkby looking for the tip. Hit by Ian White. And the puck comes out of the zone. All the way down, Tyler Jurich. Jurich could play behind the net. A good job on the PK by the River Dragons. Hunter Bersani is there. He's got four white jerseys on him. Bersani is on the puck. And now it's kicked away, but boy, he burned a lot of time. Now Powell back to Jurich. Back there, struggling on the power play right now. Kept in, right to the front of the net. Loose, side of the crease, comes free. And the whistle blows. Almost disastrous for Binghamton. But Owen Liskowitz, huge save. the face off 27 seconds to go in the Big E tire power play Binghamton a three nothing lead Gavin Yates Yates over the blue line he'll stop nice pass to Danny Vanderweel Vanderweel Strom shoots missed up to Sam Turner at the right point Turner left side Yates Yates Ivashkin Ivashkin save made side of the net Back-to-back -back power play goals, and it's 4-0 Binghamton.
for Gavin Yates. And the Black Bears have a 4-0 lead at home, and this place is buzzing now. by number eight, Nikita Ivashkin, and number 88, Sam Turner. Here's another chance, strong backhand save made by Bailey McBurney, nine minutes to go in the second. Back to that power play goals and a Burger King burger goal already in this one. Sam Turner skates back into his own end, fires it out to center ice right into the chest of Hunter Bersani. And that is offside. We'll step aside. Eight minutes, 42 seconds left to go in period number two. The Binghamton Black Bears have a four to nothing lead. Back right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Are you looking to get your hands on game-worn autographed jerseys? You're in luck. Black Bears fans can now bid live online for game-worn jerseys. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and click Live Online Auctions on the homepage. You can even download the Live Source mobile app on any device so you never miss a chance to place a bid. Live Online Auctions are going on now. Download the Live Source mobile app or visit BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Rob Mapolis back with you live inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in Binghamton. The Black Bears have a 4-0 lead. Face off coming up in the neutral zone after that offside call. 8.42 to go. For Columbus, number 30, Mike Cosentino. So you hear that in the background. We have a goaltending change as Mike Cosentino will come in to replace Bailey McBurney here in the second period. Shot on net, chest save made by Liskowitz with eight minutes and 20 seconds to go in period number two. Our next broadcast coming your way tomorrow right back here in Binghamton against Columbus. If you can't make it to the Hart Cup game, tune in beginning at 645 for the Endwell Rug pregame show. Puck drops at seven. Columbus at Binghamton. If you can't be here, tune in right here on Fox Sports, 14.30. 8.19 to go in the second. Binghamton has chased Bailey McBurney out of the net for Columbus. Mike Cosentino is now in. The Black Bears, two goals in the first, two more in the second. Offensive zone, Tyson Kirkby intercepted. Petrantonio backhands to the neutral zone. Molevac there. Now Jurich. Back to Levac. Cross ice to Jurich. Jurich waits to Tyler Pikarski. Fires just wide. Good low shot by Pikarski. Just missed. The puck is up in the air. Knocked out of midair by Pikarski. Moskal comes away with it. Heads up in the crowd as that got tipped by Liskowitz and went just above the glass. With seven minutes and 39 seconds to go in the second. Face off will be in Binghamton's defensive zone right wing dot. Emil Strom. Offensive zone leaves it for Aldworth. Aldworth shoots, saved by Cosentino. Right back in the skate to Thomas Aldworth, picked off behind the net, up the left wing side, Brad Nolan. Now, Alex Storjahan. Storjahan ahead, out of the reach of Jack Riley. And now Storjahan loses the puck to Danny Vanderweel, gets it right back, down the left wing side, Joseph Smith. Smith a backhand, saved by Liskowitz. 
Seven minutes to go in period two. Another save, Liskowitz. Another save by Liskowitz on the side of the crease. Thomas Aldworth takes the puck back into the defensive zone hash marks, and now he'll move to center ice. Aldworth. Matt White, or Ian White on him. White does a good job. Aldworth much faster, but Ian White played the body. Riley is in. Shot blocked by Turner. Jack Riley gets the puck back and then sent it off the official. So Emil Strome takes over. Big hit on Strome. His pass out of the reach of Gino D'Angelo. Colin Fitzgerald has to hustle. Fitzgerald behind the net. Dodges a check, gets the puck up. Ian White has it, though. White down low. Petra Antonio into the skate to Jay Krupp. Krupp kicks the puck back for MJ Graham. And now Gavin Yates. Yates dodges a slash, has it left side. Shot tipped up over the crossbar by Ian White. Now Ivashkin again. Ivashkin drags, shoots, save made. Nikita Ivashkin, then he lost an edge when slotting into the boards. Play continues. It really looked like that Ivashkin lost an edge. It just went into the wall awkwardly. Play continues. 5.37 to go in the second period. 4 nothing Binghamton. Tyler Pikarski to Gavin Yates. Yates around a check. Battle below the goal line. Kirk Underwood is there. Gavin Yates leaves the puck for Ivashkin. Ivashkin on the wraparound. Dodged a stick by the goaltender, Constantino. Ivashkin. Backhand right at the front of the net. Pushed away from the puck, Gavin Yates. Yates still has it, and we're going to get a penalty coming up on Columbus. So Binghamton hard work in the offensive zone, and Columbus getting into some penalty trouble here tonight. 5-12 to go in the second, and it's another Big E tire power play for the Binghamton Black Bears. Season tickets for the 2022-23 season are now available. The Black Bears adding a ton of brand new benefits for the upcoming season. Stop by the Black Bears table at a home game behind section one. See how you can get a buy one, get one free ticket for the rest of the regular season. Or you can head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com slash season tickets. 5-12 to go in the second. And Jay Krupp will take a seat. Molevac on the faceoff. Tyson Kirkby on the right wing side. Thomas Oldworth on the left. Jurich and Powell up top. Jurich to Powell. Powell opposite corner for Molevac. Levac up the right wing boards. Tyson Kirkby lost an edge. Puck comes all the way back. Kyle Powell. Powell stops inside his own left wing circle. And that pass is out of the reach of Tyler Jurich, but goes right on net. And it'll be an offensive zone draw when we return. Four minutes, 44 seconds left to go in the second period. The Binghamton Black Bears have built a four to nothing lead. Back with more of the power play right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. New team, new website. Check out the all-new Binghamton Black Bears website, BinghamtonBlackBears.com. See all of the Black Bears' upcoming promotions, the latest news on your Black Bears. Check out up-to-the-second standings and stats and save money with special offers. You can even listen to every broadcast and see what's been happening on their social media. Be sure to follow the Black Bears on social media as well. Stay up-to-date with everything Black Bears at www.BinghamtonBlackBears.com. And 44 seconds to go in the second period. The Binghamton Black Bears, a 4-0 lead. And a face-off coming up in the offensive zone, right wing circle. Off 
up the draw. Held in left point, Jurich. Now the puck took a couple of bounces, and Jurich trying to get back, stepping on the puck, though. And now the Black Bears don't realize that. Austin Doe is waiting right in front of the net, but Powell was able to pin the puck long enough, and now help has arrived. Thomas Aldworth up the right wing side. Aldworth flying down the boards, in behind the net. Out front for Kirkby. Backhander sticked away by Cosentino. Taken back behind the net, and up for Austin Doe. Doe to the right side. Petrantonio will softly clear all the way down the ice. 47 seconds to go in the penalty to Jay Krupp. Binghamton, a 4-0 lead. Emil Strom has Ivashkin behind him. Gives him the puck. Ivashkin reaches the goal line. Now in behind the net. Works it on the left wing side of the ice. Ivashkin lost the puck as he was unable to pass it. Sam Turner waits behind the net. Aliskowitz. Long feed to Gavin Yates. Quickly into the offensive zone. He's got Vanderweel going to the net. Yates down low. Lost the puck. And now pinned up against the wall was Strom ahead to center. Turner is back. One on one. Kirk Underwood. Sam Turner. Underwood behind the net. Ran into the side of the net. And then a stick of Liskowitz came out of his hand. Out of the penalty box is Krupp. Yates offensive zone. Wrist shot goes over the crossbar. Hits the glass. 3.02 to go in the second. 4 0 Black Bears. Out to the point. Strom shot. Tipped in front of the net and then knocked down. And Adam Vanelli goes to the right side. Kirk Underwood. Underwood. Right circle. Low shot. Right leg pad saved by Owen Leskowitz. Gavin Yates caught up to from behind. Fans want to call. Not going to get it. Krupp is in. Toe drag. Good play by Pekarski. Backhand. And a save made by Owen Leskowitz. Down low. Parker Moskal, top of the crease, and Liskowitz shuts the door again with 2.23 to go in the second period. The Learning Ladder Child Care Center is located in Eddy County, Johnson City. Enroll children ages 6 weeks to 12 years old. Call 607-770-3806 for an appointment today to walk through one of their facilities. Come join their family and they will help your child grow. Defensive zone face off inside the right wing circle for the Black Bears to the point. Shot, tipped, and held on to by Liskowitz with 2.18 to go in the second. Stay with us. We'll have the Excite Motorsports second period intermission show coming your way right after the first or second period comes to an end. Full summary of the first 40 as Danny Vanderweel looking to add to the lead. Vander save Cosentino. We'll also have the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club highlights and a look at the John Pollen State Farm out of town scoreboard. All of that coming up on the Excite Motorsports second period intermission show. Side of the crease trying to get the puck to the front of the net. No one can see it. Everyone trying to scramble to get back. Binghamton struggling on the breakout. Save made by Liskowitz and that's you. Wallar trying to hammer the puck out of the zone. Knocked out of midair though by Ian White. And right back to Matthew Wallar. Strom tied up. Got the puck to Vanderweel. And that is Shot directly out of play, so the faceoff will be in the neutral zone. One minute, 24 seconds left to go. In period number two. Face off one back to Pikarski. Kyle Powell ahead to Moe Levac. Levac to Tyson Kirkby, but offside with 114 to go in the second. Levac 
Face off win to Kirkby. Kirkby gave the puck onto the stick of Jake Gray. Now Kirkby gets it back off the glass. Wild hop, top of the crease. Cosentino looking around. Off the end boards to Brad Nolan. Nolan ahead to Alex Storjahan. Storjahan cross ice pass. 47 seconds to go in the second period. 4 0 Binghamton. Jurich down the right boards. Fires on net, and Cosentino stopped that in his chest. And he will get a whistle. And now, little dust up after the play. As Kirkby, don't think there will be any penalties called on this. It was Kirkby, though, and Jack Riley. Face off will be in Binghamton's defense or offensive zone right wing circle, I believe. 38.2 left to go. Face off taken by Josh Newberg. Out to center ice, 28 seconds remaining in the second period of play. Thomas Aldworth, Aldworth behind the net. Gino D'Angelo, D'Angelo for Newberg. Good stick lift at the top of the crease. 13 seconds to go in the second. Lift it up. Colin Fitzgerald lost it. One last chance. Austin Doe. Now Josh Newberg gets back. He'll pin it. And that'll do it for 40 minutes of play in Binghamton. The Black Bears, a 4-0 lead after two periods of play. Stay with us for the Excite Motorsports second period. Intermission show. Shots on net. 30 for Binghamton, 22 for Columbus, and the score 4 0 Black Bears. When we return, we'll have the Excite Motorsports second period intermission report on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430, Binghamton. Binghamton, get ready for WWE Sunday Star. April 24th at Vision's Veterans Memorial Arena. See Roman Reigns defend the Universal Championship against Drew McIntyre. I'm going to make your life hell. In a triple threat match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, The New Day and Sheamus and Ridge Holland challenge the Usos. Plus, SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair and more. Tickets start at $15. Available now at the box office and Ticketmaster. Check out a Binghamton Black Bears game like you've never seen before for the Skybox Night or Group Night. You can even watch warm-ups from the Black Bears bench with your friends, high-five the players as they take the ice, and so much more. Or watch the game in style in a Skybox and check out a new and improved food and drink menu. Call the Black Bears at 607-722-7367 and begin your group or Skybox experience. Get access to exclusive player events, monthly parties, and road trips to away Black Bears games. This is what you get when you become a member of the Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Stop by the Booster Club table behind Section 4 at the next Black Bears home game, pick up a 50-50 ticket, and sign up to join for just $10. Stay up to date on the Booster Club by liking their Facebook page, facebook.com slash Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Monthly meetings with players, road trips, and a whole lot of fun when you join the Black Bears Booster Club. Be the first to get all the latest Binghamton Black Bears news, special exclusive offers, and stay up to date on upcoming games by signing up to join the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and sign up today. You'll receive team-related news delivered right to your inbox. Keep an eye out for special exclusive offers only available to email club members. It's the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Sign up and start saving money today. 
two periods are complete. It's time for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. A recap of the first two periods, interviews, highlights, out-of-town scores, and more. Back up to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. One period One to go period. here in Binghamton. It is time for the Excite Motorsports second period intermission show. Excite Motorsports, browse, ride, buy. Free next day delivery to New York and PA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. Well, Emil Strom right now credited with the one of the two power play goals in that second. Danny Vanderweel, Kyle Powell also with assists on that goal. And that gave Binghamton a 3-0 lead. And then Gavin Yates would score another power play tally. This one came at 10-29. And Binghamton a 4-0 lead. Take a look at the stat recap. Shots in that second period. Binghamton 15 shots again. So 15 in the first, 15 in the second, 30 total shots through two periods. Columbus 12 shots in period two. They have 22 total. Binghamton got the scoring going 4-11 into the game. Thomas Aldworth from Danny Vanderweel and Emil Strom put Binghamton up one and nothing, and then Aldworth again this time from Strom and Mathieu Boilar to give the Black Bears a two goal lead at the end of one period. We go to the second and Strom continue. He had a point in the first three goals of the game for the Black Bears. This one was a goal, came on the power play. Now we'll see how this finishes out in terms of who got the goal. Kyle Powell took the shot. It was tipped in front of the net by Danny Vanderweel, snuck underneath the goalie. And I thought it was over the line before Strom touched it. We'll see if that changes right now, though. It's Strom from Vanderweel and Powell at 7.59 a period two. And then at 10.29, another power play goal. This time, Gavin Yates, great shot. Assists on the play to Nikita Ivashkin and Sam Turner. And Gavin Yates getting a big goal for Yates, his 12th of the season. For Emil Strom, his 16th of the season. And after two periods, it is a 4 nothing lead for the Binghamton Black Bears. Penalties, all of them so far to Columbus. Three penalties in the second. At 6.43, Josh Petrantonio went off for hooking. Adam Vanelli went off at 8.29 for holding. And then Jay Krupp high sticking at 14.48. Binghamton, two power play goals on the night. So two for four on the Big E tire power play. No penalties so far by the Binghamton Black Bears. That is a recap of the first two periods. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have the highlights for you, brought to you by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Hi, folks. Erwin Coe Sr. here from Big E Tire. It's our buy three, get one absolutely free sale. Oh, I know what you're saying. Wow, another tire sale. No, there's more. Listen, That's how now I, when you buy three tires it. from yep. Big E, you will get tough, one though. tire absolutely tell free. Over the line. With free mounting, free lifetime balancing, free rotations, free 90-day road hazard warranty, free alignment check, free 30-day ride guarantee. Yeah, it's good. Because the other guys charge you for everything. At Big E, everything is free. Interest-free financing for up to 12 months and the fastest air-free alignments in the Northeast. So call for details or just stop in. And thanks for the business. For cars and trucks and tractors too. Everything's right, so right for you. Best all around are Big E Tire and Auto Centers. Big E Tire. Get moving today with the Planet Fitness Black Card and check out all the perks. Like access to over 2,000 locations, bring a guest anytime, plus massage chairs and so much more. With tons of space in our super clean clubs, your fitness is essential. Get all the perks with the PF Black Card.
commitment may apply. See club for details. The Ross Park Zoo sits tucked into the northern face of Binghamton South Mountain. The zoo officially opened in 1875 and is the fifth oldest zoo in the country. Come view over 100 different species. Are you planning your next event? Train rides, the children's zoo, Ross Park Carousel, Snack Shack, Gift Shop, and Special Education Stations are just some of the reasons why Ross Park Zoo should be your next event. You can even set up wild encounters. Give Ross Park Zoo a call at 607-724-5461 or online at rossparkzoo.org. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena after two periods of play. Time for the highlights brought to you by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. And Bailey McBurney got the start in net for Columbus, and he was needed early on. Gavin Yates with a breakaway chance. Into the offensive zone by Columbus. Bottom of the right wing circle. Puck up in the air. Turner leads Gavin Yates. Yates is in. Glove save by McBurney. What a save by the Columbus goaltender. 16.39 to go. So Binghamton still no score at that point, but then Thomas Oldworth would score back-to-back -back goals. Thomas Oldworth, offensive zone, left wing circle. Aldworth works the puck in behind the net. Vanderweel to Aldworth, back and he scores! Danny Vanderweel to Thomas Aldworth, and Binghamton has a 1-0 lead. So the Black Bears striking a 1-0 lead, and then Aldworth again to give the Black Bears a two-goal lead. Ballar, Ballar trying to get around the defense, but the last guy was Edgar Zoselinch. Those are a couple of big guys. Aldworth, he's got two. Thomas Aldworth strikes again, and Binghamton has a 2 nothing. 12-23 left in the first. So the Black Bears a two to nothing lead after one period of play. We go to the second and in period two, this goal is now being credited to Tyson Kirkby, just as we thought. I thought it was Kirkby who deflected the puck at the hash marks and it went over the line before Emil Strom touched it. That's how we saw it initially. That is the case, and assists have been given to Kyle Powell, who took the shot that Kirkby tipped, and Tyler Jurich. This gave Binghamton a 3-0 lead. Tyson Kirkby trying to get to it first. Emil Strom behind the net. Strom to Jurich, under a minute to go in the power play. Powell, tip in front, score! So Binghamton, a three to nothing lead, and then Owen Liskowitz bailing the power play out. On the power play right now, kept in, right to the front of the net, loose, side of the crease, comes free, and the whistle blows. Almost disastrous for Binghamton, but Owen Liskowitz, huge save. So that kept it at a 3-0 lead for the Black Bears. And then on that power play, Gavin Yates. Left side, Yates. Yates, Ivashkin, Ivashkin, save made, side of the net, Gavin Yates scores! Back to back power play goals and it's 4-0 Binghamton. So the Black Bears, a four to nothing lead. That would chase Bailey McBurney out of the net. And he has been replaced by Mike Constantino. The highlights brought to you by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Stay with us when we come back. We'll have a check at the out of town scoreboard presented by John Paul in State Farm. On your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. 
The Binghamton Black Bears are hitting the ice this season at Visions Federal Credit Union, Veterans Memorial Arena, and we want you to see all the hard-hitting action of Black Bears hockey all season long. That's why Visions members can get discounted tickets to every home game this season. It's one of the many reasons to join the Visions family today. To get your member discount and see the Black Bears in action, visit visionsfcu.org slash events. Visions Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. Getting your hands on an all-new CF Moto side-by-side or four-wheeler is now easier than ever at ExciteMotorsports.com. Purchase your next power sports vehicle with our new, easy, and quick online buying experience. Browse inventory on ExciteMotorsports.com. Buy. Get approved for financing and e-sign online right from your phone. Ride. Have your new power sports vehicle delivered to your home the next day at no extra charge. Browse. Buy. Ride. Fun starts here at ExciteMotorsports.com. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions is the official printer provider of the Binghamton Black Bears. For over 40 years, they've been serving businesses around the southern tier. Locally owned and operated, EBE CMS Imaging Solutions has a full line of authorized Canon, Sharp, and Kyocera products. With multi-function printers, copiers, and fax machines, they'll help you determine which product is best for your needs, and their staff provides fast and efficient service. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions, 607 723 0 Ideal Bowling Center, located at 119 Jennings Street in Endicott, has 38 amazing lanes of bowling, large video screens, and automatic scoring. But that's not all. Ideal Bowling Center has a newly remodeled bar with six televisions, billiards, darts, and quick draw to entertain you. Don't forget about Ideal Bowling Center's snack counter for your appetite and a pro shop for all your bowling needs. Ideal Bowling Center, 119 Jennings Street in Endicott. Or call 607-748-3546. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Quick check of the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paul in State Farm. Up in Watertown, it is two to nothing Wolves with nine or 920 into the second period. Lane King, Alexander Jamaith, the goals. 38 seconds into the second and 2.43 into the second. Down in Col or Carolina, it's Danbury a 2-0 lead over the Carolina Thunderbirds. 8.50 into the second period. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paulin State Farm. Visit them online at pauleninsurance.com or call 607-798-7191. That's going to do it for the Excite Motorsports second period intermission report. Excite Motorsports, browse, ride, by free next day delivery to New York and PA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. Third period action coming your way next. This is Black Bears Hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. CryoWorks helps you with cold therapy, just like the ice the Black Bears skate on. CryoWorks uses freezing temperatures to create a healing process. In just minutes, cryotherapy helps reduce inflammation, improves muscle tissue recovery, and boosts your immune system. CryoWorks uses three different forms of therapy, whole body, local, and cryofacial. The Black Bears players trust CryoWorks, and so should you. Visit them at 26 South Washington Street, Binghamton, 607-269-5392. CryoWorks, wellness without medicine. The area's premier fitness facility, Court Jester Athletic Club, is excited to be open and ready to serve you during your next workout. Join in a new and improved gym experience with fitness and safety top of mind. Updated cleaning and sanitation procedures will help keep you healthy and ready to keep pushing. Plus, utilize the newly renovated and remodeled equipment and exercise spaces. Reach your goals and escape your limits at Court Jester Athletic Club. A one-stop fitness experience. New hockey team in town means all new gear. Dress like the Black Bears and go online to blackbearshop.com. The all-new blackbearshop.com. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats much more. Do you want a custom jersey with your name and number? We can do that too. Stop by the merchandise stand at all Black Bears home games or even come by the front office during office hours. Show your Binghamton hockey pride by visiting blackbearshop.com. After three home games this weekend, hard-hitting action of Black Bears hockey is back next Friday night as they host the Danbury Hattricks at 7 p.m. Kirkby backhand. 
Edmonton and Danbury Friday, April 8th at 7 p.m. Also, playoff hockey is back in Binghamton. Secure your seats for the 2021-22 Commissioner's Cup at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, Rob Lapola is set to go here for period three. As the Black Bears, a four to nothing lead. You see it, Binghamton can hang on. Don't want to take things easy, though, especially in this third period, and especially against a team like Columbus. Remember, Binghamton on a Friday night game in Columbus earlier in the season had a big lead midway through the third period. And that went away in a loss. And that was a tough weekend for Binghamton on the road. But they're back home. Binghamton in the white jerseys will go right to left. Columbus in the baby blue jerseys. They'll go left to right. Ian White. Long pass down at the bottom of the left wing circle. Matthew Wallar did a good job getting the stick in the way. 15 seconds gone here in the third period. They're announcing the goal change in the background. So now that third goal does read Tyson Kirkby as a goal. Hunter Bersani is 16th of the season from his stomach. And what did we just talk about? It's Columbus, an early third period goal. Binghamton's lead is now four to one. That was a great play, side of the crease. So the Black Bears surrendering early goal. Hunter Bersani, assisted by number 25, Ian White. Time of the goal, 27 seconds. That's Bersani from White. Time of the goal, 27 seconds. So a 4-1 lead. And still a lot of time left to go in this one. He's off, pulled back. Tyler Jurich behind the net. Joseph Smith will lift the puck up. Sam Turner on the backhand to Mo Levac. Levac hit into the boards by Alex Storjahan. Take him below the goal line. Adam Vanelli. Vanelli up to Storjahan. Storjahan for Smith. Smith lost it. Tyson Kirkby to Mo Levac. And he'll lift the puck into the offensive zone. And Binghamton will change. Yates, Ivashkin, Newberg on the ice. Powell and Pekarski defensively. Gavin Yates on Carter. Forced him to make a quick pass. And now Tyler Pekarski. Back to Gavin Yates. For Nikita Ivashkin to Josh Newberg. Lifted it high. Wild bounce off the glass. Newberg hustling to get back on the back check, looking around. Good play behind the net. Kirk Underwood, Underwood inside the left wing circle. Now to the point. Shot saved by Liskowitz. And he pulls the rebound back in to get a whistle. With 18 minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the third. Again, Mike Cosentino in net for Columbus. Thomas Aldworth, two on the night. Coat check by Cosentino. 18 minutes remaining in the third period. Binghamton started the period up with a 4-0 lead. Early in the third, Columbus gets on the board. Slap shot by Jay Krupp from inside the right wing circle. Intercepted front of the net by Tyler Pikarski. Pikarski gets over the line. And thought icing was waved off. 
but it was called, thought it should have been called either way. 17 minutes, 38 seconds remaining in the third. Tonight's third period is presented by American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning. They are built to a higher standard. Back underway, Kyle Powell below the goal line. Puck is onto the stick of Austin Doe. Doe, left circle, tipped just wide of the net by Hunter Bersani. Black Bears come away with the puck. Thomas Aldworth, he lost it though. And that's gonna be offside. I think that was the right call. Columbus arguing it. 17-17 remaining in the third period. So the goal by Columbus. Hunter Bersani from Ian White, 27 seconds into the third period. And the Black Bears lead is now three. Face off in the neutral zone. Back to MJ Merkel. He will ice it. And the face off will stay in Binghamton's defensive end. get to his left. Levac wins the puck back for Matthew Wallar. Up to Tyson Kirkby. Across the ice, out of the reach of Tyler Jurich. And now Merkel steps up. And a big hit on Alex Storjahan by Merkel, then takes a good whack. Storjahan not happy. And now some talking between the two after the whistle. Sixteen minutes, forty-five seconds remaining in the third. Face off in the D zone, right wing circle. And two. Group gets right back up though. Puck intercepted by MJ Graham. MJ Merkel pushes Parker Moskal down to the ice. Hamilton trying to get the puck out of the zone. Matthew Ballar scoops it up. Left wall. Ballar. Graham is on him. Ballar will leave the puck to Newberg. Newberg right through the hash marks. Looking for Nikita Ivashkin. Backhand up to Moscow. And Colin Fitzgerald skates behind the net of Owen Liskowitz. Ahead to Gino D'Angelo. Ivashkin, D'Angelo down the right wing side. Gino D'Angelo puts the brakes on. Lost the puck in his skates. And now the Black Bears. Fitzgerald steps up. Fitzgerald was looking in front of the net. But a good defensive play after Fitzgerald stepped up at the blue line and forced a turnover. 15 and a half to go in the third period. Binghamton a 4-1 lead. Cowling Fitzgerald back to Sam Turner, up to Nikita Ivashkin. Ivashkin gave the puck away. Fitzgerald now front of the net, overskated. And Turner goes off the boards. Not out, though. Right back to Turner. Turner. His pass bounced off the stick of Gino D'Angelo, and Gino's going to come to the bench for a line change. Emil Strom comes on. Ivashkin will change. Danny Vanderweel, Thomas Aldworth, both fresh out there. Long pass, Hunter Bersani, top of the left wing circle, shoots it, goes up in the air on a deflection over the crossbar. Back to the left wing circle, a shot and a save by Liskowitz. Binghamton can't clear. Kyle Powell, it's up to the left point, overskated by Thomas Aldworth. Powell caught along the wall, shot and a save. Liskowitz with 14.32 to go in the third period. Binghamton has surrendered a goal early on, but the lead is four to one. We're back right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports, 14.30, Binghamton. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company presents. 
does. Don't you just love the smell of old books? This is a library. Sorry, ma'am. We're looking for a book titled Liberty Mutual Customizes Your Car Insurance So You Only Pay for What You Need. I don't think we carry that, but check nonfiction. It really does devour literature. Please leave. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. And the Black Bears lead is three. And again, can't take it easy against this Columbus team. In a three game weekend, you talk, you're talking with Black Bears head coach Rod Davidson prior to this. You heard it in the interview pregame. Three point games in the FPHL. So you got a three and three against an opponent you're trying to chase. It's 18 point swing possibly, depending on what happens. Emil Strom off the left wing wall. Danny Vanderweel giving chase in the offensive zone. Edgar Zozalinch takes over. Tyler Pikarski in a foot race down low. Is there are two guys just going shoulder to shoulder, and now Pikarski's going to get a penalty. Boy, tripping the call. I thought those were two guys that just collided and went sliding into the end wall. Kirk Underwood shaking up on the play. Good to see him get back up, but not sure if that was Underwood, though, or Alex Storjahan. We'll see if going to look at this one. I don't know how that's tripping. That's a tough call. Nonetheless, though, Binghamton on the Trivium packaging penalty kill for the first time today. All penalty kills for Binghamton presented by Trivium Packaging. They are hiring. Apply online at TriviumPackaging.com. Just an unfortunate bounce says. Tyler Pikarski put in the penalty box for tripping. And fans don't like it. You can see why you watch the replay. But again, Binghamton has had plenty of chances on the power play. Now they'll have to kill off the first penalty of the game for Binghamton here in the third period. 13-19 remaining in regulation. Ian White down the right wing side. Taken by Colin Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald get the puck out. Danny Vanderweel finally will send it all the way down. Fitzgerald trying to burn time off and then accidentally ran into Vanderweel on the blue line. But in the end, able to clear. Petrantonio right on the goal line. Puts on the brakes, has the puck on the right wall. Petri Antonio give and go with Ian White at the point. Ian White gets it back. Now to the left wing side. Right out of the stick of Adam Vanelli. Vanelli a shot, save Liskowitz and Mo Levac with a gentle clear. 12 minutes, 27 seconds left in the third period. 40 seconds to go in the Pikarski tripping penalty. Off the glass, Smolenak, foot race with Joseph Smith. Levac has the puck pinned, cleared up, left point. Jake Grade, Grade, pass to Nolan. Nolan in the hash marks for Jack Riley. Back to Nolan, inside the right point, blue line. Shot by Riley, that misses high. Not sure if that got deflected or not. Storjahan. Storage your hand, left circle, out front, Mathieu Boilard with a fantastic defensive play. Pikarski out of the penalty box, back to even strength. Shot right side, missing the net, and the puck goes all the way down. What a play defensively by Mathieu Boilard, wide open in front of the net. It should have been a tap in, but Boilard was right there. Top of the left circle, waist high saucer pass, save made, rebound off the outside of the net. 
And now Thomas Aldworth has speed and help to his right. Vanderweel down low below the goal line. Danny Vanderweel, one hand on his stick. Aldworth had his stick lifted below the goal line. Emil Strom now cycles to Aldworth. Aldworth up to the right point shot through traffic missed the net stepping up is MJ Merkel on the left side 1049 to go in the third period Binghamton a 4-1 lead long pass taken by Powell ahead to Newberg save Aldworth there in front of the net good save by Mike Cosentino one on three Merkel a big hit save made Jay Krupp goes out of the ice at the top of the crease pops right back up puck goes through the top of the crease and Krupp is down he needs a whistle not going to get one Ivashkin Krupp is down should blow the whistle as Krupp is hurt and they're letting it continue Yates save made and now finally going to blow a dead as G. Krupp unable to get up just inside the hash marks. And he's a tough customer for him not to get up. That has to be painful. He got tangled up top of the crease. And he is down inside the hash marks with 10 minutes and one second left to go in the third. As they tend to him. And a reminder, the Black Bears back home tomorrow. It's the Hart Cup game. Binghamton Police versus Binghamton Fire Department at 3.30. And then the Black Bears host Columbus at 7 once again. $15 ticket will get you into the Hart Cup game at 3.30. And then into the Black Bears game at 7. And $5 of every ticket from the Heart Cup link sold will go right back to the American Heart Association. Also, the Black Bears are wearing autism awareness jerseys. You can bid online for those right now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. All for a great cause. And then Sunday, all wise card club members can score $8 tickets at Sunday at 3 p.m. Wise members. Bring your wide shoppers club card in and you get $8 tickets. For more information, head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com. As Jay Krupp heading to the locker room, needed help getting off the ice, and boy, that's a big loss for Columbus, especially on a Friday night at the start of a three and three on the road. Face off now in the Black Bears offensive zone right wing circle. Giveaway, Levac, Kirkby up in the air, side of the net. Jurich had a whack at it. Tried to center to Kirkby. Good defensive play though by Edgar Zoselinch, knocking the puck out of the way. Up the right side, Ian White. Ian White got the puck to Austin Doe. He lost it. Sam Turner now ahead to Jurich. Jurich. He's got pressure coming from behind. Got the puck over to Moldovan. Down low to Kirkby. Tyson Kirkby. Now credited with Binghamton's third goal. Up to Sam Turner. Turner floats one wide of the net. Comes free right through the top of the crease. And now Petrantonio over the blue line. His shot well wide. Rolls up the boards and a big hit. Levac. Crunching Brad Nolan into the boards. Under nine minutes to go now in the third period. Inside the neutral zone, left wing wall, Austin Doe there. Down low, below the goal line, onto the stick of Joseph Smith. Smith to the left point, sent right to the top of the crease, intended for Jack Riley. Colin Fitzgerald fighting his way through center ice. He'll get over the blue line, dumps the puck in, and he'll go to the bench. That's you, Boilar, replacing Fitzgerald. Columbus on the breakout, moving left to right. Backhanded by Jack Riley, back into the defensive zone. Chase Carter now has the puck. Below his own goal line. Carter gave it away. Aldworth to Strom. Strom looking out front for Vanderweel. Good stick by Cosentino. He has had several good poke checks here since coming into the game. 
8.05 to go, third period. High slot, Riley a shot. Stick saved by Liskowitz. On the left wall, Alex Storjahan. Storjahan left point, shot, saved Liskowitz. Puck free, pushed away, held in. Left point though, another other chance. Knocked down below the goal line, side of the net. Merkel, another big hit on Storjahan. Here's Aldworth, Aldworth taken down to the ice. Good play. As diving down to the ice was Chase Carter. Fans want to call, and now Boilar is going to be forced to fight. Boilar and Ozelinch. Boilar lost in edge as Ozelinch take him down. Boy, Ozelinch, did he came right off the bench, it looked like. After Aldworth was taken down, Ozelinch, or Boilar, went in for a hit. I believe it was on Chase Carter. Carter had gone down to the ice. So Boilar went hard into the boards. Ozelinch did not like that Boilar took a run and came after him inside the neutral zone. And we'll get penalties on both sides. 7.27 left to go in the third. We'll take a break. 4 to 1 Binghamton. Back with more right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. When a hockey team ends up with six skaters and a goalie on the ice, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for car insurance than you need to, it can also mean somebody stomach. forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts could mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call State Farm agent John Paulin in Johnson City today at 607-798-7191. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. Do you or someone you know have a birthday coming up? Well, the home games are running out, and the Black Bears can host your birthday party with a Wegmans birthday package. It includes a custom Black Bears cake, courtesy of Wegmans. Just give us a call, 607-722-7367. So Boilar is at the end of a shift as he's coming up the ice and hopping on with a fresh shift was Edgar Zozelich. And Boilar is a quick fight. Five minutes each. And a face off in the defensive zone right wing circle. So Ozelinch is fresh on the ice. But, oh, wait, we got a cell phone on the ice. What happened? Someone's phone came on the ice. I don't know if that's broken or not. And I'll be honest, it looks like a, a couple some dude's phone just went flying over the glass and then the lady stormed off. I don't think I've seen that before. You get that phone back, they're expensive. So the phone <laughs> went on the ice. And uh, someone's got some explaining to do. Face off in the defensive zone, left wing circle for Binghamton. 4-1 lead for the Black Bears. Here in period three. And there's the announcement to not throw anything on the ice. No back underway. 7-10 left to go in the third period. Offensive zone, Gino D'Angelo to Gavin Yates. Yates shooting, missed the net. Breakout. Underwood, Merkel with a push on Parker Moskal. Puck loose, top of the left wing circle. Gavin Yates to Ivashkin. Ivashkin tries to cross up Carter, who took the puck from him, and now Kyle Powell intercepts. 
MJ Graham the other way. And Kirk Underwood lifts the puck all the way down the ice. 6.27 to go, third period. Over the blue line, top of the left wing circle. Josh Petrantonio lost it. Taken right back by Petrantonio. Spins looking up to the point. Now from the left point, Chase Carter. Losing an edge was Adam Vanelli. Gavin Yates couldn't get around Hunter Bersani. Diving was MJ Merkel to get the puck out, but Petri Antonio brings it right back in. Shot tip just high over the crossbar. 5.50 to go, third period. Petri Antonio lost it. Kirk B for Binghamton. Forces the pass up the left side. Petri Antonio backhands the puck in deep. Kyle Powell up the left wing boards. Tyson Kirkby now Maul LeVac. LeVac for Jurich. That's just over the blue line. Delayed offside, but Columbus changes direction. And Joseph Smith now forced back into his own end. He'll leave the puck for Jake Grade. 5-12 to go. Third period. Binghamton a 4-1 lead over Columbus. Good pass and a good tip, though, by Jurich. Sam Turner down low. Turner, Joseph Smith, side of the crease. Save made Liskowitz. Mo Levac back to Turner below the goal line. Sam Turner will lift up and out to center. 4.47 remaining in the third period. Rob Lopolis, Binghamton, a 4-1 lead over the Columbus River Dragons. Not from Columbus, Ohio. It was a blast. Deflects wide of the net. That's Columbus, Georgia. Quite the ride. The Black Bears did it earlier in the season. And Columbus now. Tyler Jurich out of the reach of Tyson Kirkby. Now on the breakout, Jack Riley. Riley left side. Graham going hard to the net. Puck went off the skates of Piekarski. And Colin Fitzgerald hit hard. Aldworth still looking for the hat trick. Couldn't cut between the defense. Back intended for Aldworth. The pass went through his skates. Three minutes, 52 seconds to go in the third period. We'll take another break. A 4-1 lead for Binghamton. We're back right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. What you've heard about probiotics is probably wrong. I eat yogurt, so I don't need to take a probiotic. Probiotics? They don't really work. It's time to learn the and join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up. Align has probiotics to naturally help relieve occasional bloating, gas, and abdominal discomfort. Try Align probiotics for a month and see how great a healthy gut can feel. Get $2 off your first month of Align at AlignProbiotics.com. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. 3.52 to go in the third. A 4-1 lead for Binghamton. Check out the new Black Bears online store, blackbearshop.com. Jerseys, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, and more. We can ship it, or you can schedule a free in-office pickup. Blackbearshop.com. Danny Vanderweel on the face-off for the Black Bears. Aldworth and Strom to his left. Shot right off the draw, misses high of the net of Liskowitz. Now from the point, Vanelli. Strom taken right back by Anna Vanelli. Dumps the puck in by MJ Graham. Kyle Powell finds space, and Powell dumps the puck in. Three minutes, 25 seconds to go in the third period. Aldworth behind the net, up front, Vanderweel missed the net, and then backhands it into the chest of Cosentino. And a whistle with 3.17 left in the third. 
Sign up now to receive special offers, news, and check out what's coming up at Black Bears home games by joining the email club for free. Head to BinghamTonBlackBears.com. Click join the email club to sign up. 317 left to go in the third period. The Black Bears have a 4-1 lead. And the puck deflects up and out of play. Playoff hockey is back in Binghamton for the first time since the 2013-14 season. Here in Binghamton, secure your playoff tickets at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. This pay-per-game package includes a merchandise gift card as Molovac takes over for Binghamton. And season ticket holders will also get a playoff gift as well from the Black Bears. Lock in your seats for playoff hockey in Binghamton at BinghamtonBlackBears.com slash playoffs. Nolan in front of Binghamton's bench. And the puck goes up and out of play with two minutes and 33 seconds to go in the third. Strong, but offside. We had 2.24 to go in the third period. So again, get your playoff tickets for the first round of the Commissioner's Cup. BinghamtonBlackBears.com slash playoffs. Dumped in down low. Constantino out of the net. 2.15 remaining in the third period. A 4-1 lead for the Black Bears. Left side shot blocked by Sam Turner. Alex Storjahan had the opportunity. Low angle wrist shot. Missed the net. Back to Aldworth. Aldworth tried to drag it through the legs of Brad Nolan. Emil Strom. Now Aldworth. And out to center, Sam Turner takes over. 1.44 to go in the third period. Binghamton with a 4-1 lead. Mola back. Fires a shot. That deflects just wide of the net. We'll have the La Quinta Inn and Suites postgame show coming up, including the Booster Club highlights. Cryo Works play of the game. Wise Market, three stars of the game. And a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paul in State Farm. Kirkby, Jurich could not get through the defense. Pass to center ice for Graham. Graham, Levac, and now Levac will backhand the puck out to the neutral zone. Underwood, D to D for Columbus. Under a minute to go in the third. And Ian White will just fire it all the way down the ice. Kyle Powell up the boards. Tyler Jurich is there. And he will go off the glass and down. The weekend is here. Stop DWI wants to remind you to have a plan when going out. And paired driving has serious consequences. As Tyler Pikarski scoops up the puck behind the net. Goes up to Tyler Jurich. 25 seconds to go. And Jurich will lift to center. Again, Stop DWI wants you to know. If you're going out, remember to have a plan. Download the I Have a Plan app for more. Ian White. Shot deflects off the top of the glass. Five seconds to go in the third period. A huge game for the Black Bears, and they come away with the victory. 4-1. Huge game in net for Owen Liskowitz once again. And the Binghamton Black Bears trying to chase down 
that third spot in the standings and trying to move up. And that is a good start to the weekend as Columbus falling to the Black Bears here on home ice in Binghamton, four to one. We'll take a timeout. The La Quinta Inn and Suites post game show is coming up. Once again, your final score Binghamton 4, Columbus 1. On your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. After three home games this weekend, hard hitting action of Black Bears hockey is back next Friday night as they host the Danbury Hat Tricks at 7 p.m. Binghamton and Dan Barry, Friday, April 8th at 7 p.m. Also, playoff hockey is back in Binghamton. Secure your seats for the 2021-22 Commissioner's Cup at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. The Homer Men and Boys Store, a family-owned business providing clothing and footwear for the entire family since 1951. Located just 40 minutes north on Route 81 in the beautiful village of Homer. The Homer Men and Boys Store carries a huge inventory of name-brand products at discounted prices like Carhartt, Red Wing, Carolina, Levi's, Columbia, North Face, Timberland, and many more. We carry all sizes from size three months up to 5x we treat our customers like members of our family if we don't have it you don't need it the homer men and boys store located 40 miles north on route 81 take exit 12 and follow the signs to homer or see us on the web at homermensandboys.com since 1939 Inwell rug has been family owned and operated with one goal in mind complete customer satisfaction Inwell rug offers a full spectrum of the finest quality floor covering products and they are the premier installer at binghamton university Inwell rug was voted the reader's choice award winner for best flooring store in 2019 and in 2020 with two locations in Endwell and Oninata. They're the best floor show in town. Endwell Rug at 607-748-7366. Trivium Packaging, a global leader in sustainable metal packaging with more than 60 locations worldwide, has immediate openings at its Conta, New York facility. Trivium serves a diverse range of customers and is an essential part of the U.S. food supply chain. Trivium Packaging offers excellent compensation and benefits like these. Apply anytime at TriviumPackaging.com slash careers or scan the QR code on the screen. Trivium Packaging currently has openings for tool and die technician, mechanical technician, quality technician, and shipping and receiving technician. Welcome to the Post Game Show. A recap with complete highlights, out-of-town scores, updated standings, three stars of the game, a look ahead at the upcoming matchup, and more. Back to wrap things up. From the Planet Fitness broadcast booth, here's Rob Lopolis. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena here in Binghamton. It's time for the La Quinta Inn and Suites post game show La Quinta in by Wyndham Binghamton 581 Harry L Drive in Johnson City let's get right to the highlights of this one early on Gavin Yates a breakaway opportunity but Bailey McBurney shut the door into the offensive zone by Columbus bottom of the right wing circle puck up in the air Turner leads Gavin Yates Yates is in by Mac Birdie. What a save by the Columbus goaltender. 16.39 to go 